using research to help drive ad sales. And so it's a partner effort that we do with one of our clients from Food Network and Don gets to play the man on the street while I help explain the research aspect of it. So there are maybe some little known nugget, nuggets that people can use to help make the case and help tell the story. Because I know ad people are ad sales people, uh, short on time, big on numbers. And so, you know, how do you help find that stuff quickly? And what can you use and what's gonna make the most compelling story? 2009's obviously been a pretty rough year for a lot of folks, um, both consumers and then the marketers, obviously. But what we saw, and we basically started to see this in 2008, where consumer confidence completely crumbled. And so you started to see traffic to retailers drop. And so we saw that happen immediately when Wall Street sort of uh, troubles began. And so you know we immediately said, Ooh, it's going to be a rough holiday season. And so you started to see things like 401k withdrawals. And so within our search data, we really started to see based upon what consumers were saying, um, how things were going kind of panning out. And so, you know, interest, you know, 2009 retail traffic has not come back up. And so spending still isn't there. You're seeing very budget conscious people. So one category that's flourished, coupons. People love coupons and now they've really reached an inflection point. Lots of people have printers at home, so that's helped to drive people, you know, printing coupons before they leave the house, but also just using them to save money. And so we've really seen that even though the media is telling them that the economy is back and everything's gonna be fine, it's great, um, we're still seeing reticence from consumers. They continue to be a bit frightened, although somewhat optimistic, um, but we're definitely still seeing that. And so a lot of the trends we've seen then, you know, so search, Search is such an important um, driver of traffic to websites. It's continued to grow, and so we've helped our clients you know, really hone in on search tactics to be a lot smarter with their marketing dollars. So how can you allocate those dollars better? And then also looking at social networks, because that's the other big hot topic, you know, Facebook, probably Twitter, you know, words of the year. And so how has that audience changed and become more mainstream? So we saw where Facebook went from lots of teenagers to everybody and their brother. And so now we've seen where social network visits have actually surpassed search. And so that's why search is becoming so quick to integrate real-time updates into their actual search engines um, to be able to offer that and hopefully you know, never mitigate those guys out of the program in case you know, Facebook starts linking up and uh, starts getting into more heavily into the search industry. Recently at an eMetrics conference, uh, we spoke with one of our clients from Washington Post. And it's pretty interesting how they've been using our data because, you know, they get lots of uh, branded traffic and certainly during the elections, new sites, no shortage of traffic coming to their websites. Uh, but then what they really wanted to find out is among these people that were searching on other terms outside of the brand, what are they looking for? So what content is the most compelling to help drive visitors to the site and they use this twofold. One, to create content. What are people really interested in? They found that healthcare, the environment, and anything on the Obamas or um, that drove traffic. And so they now know that prioritize those as content and then also make sure you're optimized for those to receive that traffic. And so, you know, they, it helped drive both their editorial business as well as uh, their business on, uh, search business online and so you know again just becoming more effective we have you know another client how stuff works and their whole uh, model is based on you know making sure they get the most organic traffic they can and they do a very similar thing where they just go through and they prioritize content they look within their own uh, web analytics and see which websites are the most popular and then they tie it back to the search data and see what drives traffic so they write more about that that's actually interesting. So with the Washington Post, they almost took what people are searching for, for and then gave that as the game plan yep. for their journalists. Yep. You know, here's your next decision. Help give them what they want. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, if you know that they're hungry for that type of information, make sure you're giving it to them. So it's good to know, you know, what is the consumer looking for? Search is one of the best tools in that way because search, they tell you what they want. And so you can think or try to influence what they want. And TV advertising is great for that, you know, launching a new product, get it out there. 
Um, but if they're searching for it, you know that they're looking for more information about that and you can react to that.